Bro, I wanted, wanted to get into the AI like uh, video business because think about it for a second. Think about it. Every time a technology has assisted in the propagation of porn, it's always been successful. Think about it. It's impossible for it to fail. The internet, they don't teach us in school. Paintings, paintings and drawings exist almost in large part because of porn. Because people would paint like naked girls. You know, they paint them and sell them. The internet exists because of it. Like literally the HTML5 player that everything uses is based off of porn. The entire, like YouTube's, all of YouTube's features we're on Pornhub first. Like the hovering over everything and all that, it's all come from Pornhub. Any technology that has assisted in the propagation of porn has never failed. Think about it, all of it. Books, like uh, the printing press, the first thing people were doing is romance novels and erotic fan fictions. First thing people were doing, even currency as a technology. You, if you, uh, they've done studies where they take, where they go to chimps. And, and monkeys and oh, all yeah, and they, they pay them for they, fucking sex. They, they teach them the concept of currency where they're like, oh, if you trade us this yeah. currency, this coin or whatever, the shells or sand dollars, whatever the hell it is, then we can give you food. And the first thing the male apes do is they go to the female apes and they pay them for sex. Yeah. The first thing. And everyone's like, oh, fucking Freud was a, because Freud was like, you know, Sigmund Freud. Yeah. He was considered like a weird dude for going like, all of human behavior is indirectly a response to sex. He's like, it all stems back to sex. And the more and more I study, like the more and more I think about human nature, I'm like, fuck, he might be right. right. All of our technology, all the innovation we've created has revolved around the propagation of easier sexual gratification for men, for men and women. True. We have convenience in our apartment and our food and all this shit so that we get more time to be more successful and be higher status men so that way our attention is worth more because attention to women is like sex for men. Yeah, women as that attention. South Park episode. Yeah, all it's Stephen Ford was a fucking that shit was crazy, and nobody no uses their brains. Everyone's like, ew, that's so weird. Why would you assume everyone just wants sex all the time? It's like, nah, bro, think a little deeper. That's fucking facts. Even completely indirectly. Even though I'm not looking for sex when I buy this fucking apartment, if girls did not exist, dudes would sleep in sleeping bags, eat like the like bare but they eat whatever they fucking have for utility. They would not give a shit about fucking decorate, decor, and they would not care about any of that stuff. Nobody would have any fancy cars. Everybody would have the cheapest possible. They would just, it would all be about utility, not about increasing your status or anything like that. And think about it, the AI video space where you're able to type in prompts and generate it, or like you take a video and you change it into some fucking hentai or whatever, right? Like AI video, that's gotta go crazy. That cannot fail. Uh, dude, even like fucking prompts for like pictures, bro. Dude, I'm, I'm telling you, we gotta somehow find a way to pierce AI video and invest in one of those companies and get it on the ground floor on one of them that we know will do well. Cause dude, it is impossible for those companies to fail. For, for, for whichever one is like serious about it. Like dude, ChatGPT sold 49% of its stock for a hundred billion dollars to Microsoft. And they, Microsoft doesn't even have a controlling share and they paid a hundred billion for this shitty fucking AI. Imagine one that propagates porn. Trillions. I see it now. Think about it and you find something, you do your research or whatever, you, you do it in your free time, whatever. Like porn, AI, no, not, no, you don't gotta look up porn. Just AI video, video effects, video components, video tools that use AI, things that make video editing and animation in particular, 2D or 3D, doesn't matter, that make it easy to do on a grand, on a much bigger scale. But if you have your time, free time, look into like what companies do that kind of shit. Also for just editing videos. Yeah. AI, like, I don't know what it would be. Five years ago, 10 years ago, nobody would have predicted chat GPT would become what it is. And the AI is like Dolly, Dolly 3 just came out too. You know Dolly, right? It's Dolly 1, Dolly Mini, Dolly 2. Nobody really uses it because it's it's expensive to use, mm -hmm. but it is the best one. Look at the fucking prompts that they're putting in. That's another thing. If you can predict, if you can understand the nature of the female mind, you can predict the entirety of the future of all markets. And one of the, one of the main proclivities of the female mind, or just the feminine spirit that exists in all men and women, but overtakes women, is the desire to be around cute things. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's so cute. I want my baby to be cute forever. So I'm going to keep them locked in my house and I'm never going to let them go out and see the world. It's like so many mothers do that. So many mothers are so overprotected. 
It's why mothers are more overprotective than fathers because they they want their babies to be cute forever. And dude, if you look on YouTube, all the like kids videos and all the like motherly like family videos, they're all like cute baits. I don't know if that's the right word for it. Yeah. But they're all like fishing. They're like, oh, just very simple, cute shit. That's what this. Look at this shit, bro. Look at this fucking. Show me videos <laughs> of Larry being kind-hearted. No, she cute wrote, oh. animals. Yeah, it's it's all cute shit. So like, actually, one of the dropshipping store ideas I had was all mini things. Everything that people would find in normal sizes, but the mini versions of that. Yeah. I think that store could do really well if it's that's like, like a Nickelodeon thing. Yeah, if it has the right marketing angle. Like, cause my mom one time she brought these like mini plums and they were like this big, but they look exactly like plums. She's they like, have mini strawberries. Dude. Yeah, and I know about. I already know about baby carrots and I already know about baby corn. And, and baby so, spinach. I didn't know about that. I didn't know about strawberries either or the plums. And she brought the plums and she's like, do you know what this is? And I'm like, baby plums? And she's like, how did you know? Have you seen this before? This Just before. like in Promise Neverland. No, 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 no. I said that because he said it. She's like, how did you know that? I said like a... A sexist somewhat, remark. A somewhat badass, but a somewhat uh, arrogant... But that's how you got to do it. That's, a lot, that's speculation. You got to be arrogant and go all in and be like, my... The opinion that I'm thinking of in my head is the matter of law. And you gotta have that kind of confidence when speculating. So I'm like, you know how people are today. There is a baby version of everything. We're so disconnected from nature that people can take any natural thing and make a baby version of it. And because of the way the market is and because of the way kids are so, such strong driving factors in mothers and the way mothers control markets, there's a baby version of everything. So what I said to my mom was like, there's a baby version of everything. I didn't even need to say that I've seen it before. I would not be surprised if there's a baby fucking every fruit, vegetable, all that shit. And then, like, a few weeks later, this shit shows up, not in my recommended. I go to Ishan's house, my cousin's house, and he's on YouTube on a, the TV, but he's not logged in. So we're just on the front page of YouTube. And fucking, like, it's like one of these shows up. Look at the fucking view counts of these, by the way. 135 million views. It's just a little mini steak of mini blender and mini carrots. Miniature cooking, 1,000 recipes, two hours, 135 million views. Name and channel's tiny cakes. It's just the definition of cute bait. Yeah. It's just cuteness overload. Yeah. But cuteness is like is like a drug. You can desensitize yourself to it, so you need more and more and more and more and more. And so people look back on it, and I'm like, fuck. It's... Look, dropshippers are all dudes. They're all guys. First of all, they're all guys. They're all ambitious. They're all willing to do shady work. They're all somewhat, they have sociopathic tendencies, somewhat. They don't overthink, they're not overthinkers, which is a huge roadblock for drop shipping. And they're, they're, they need money, they're ambitious. Listen, people who have fucking, who those are their problems, they don't fucking watch videos like this, all right? The people that watch videos like this are people that have had it cushy their entire lives, and they're either little babies, or they're people that are wearing sororities, and then they marry into money, and then they're like sitting down on the rug with their baby, watching some fucking kids show, and then they go to beat up with their girlfriends, and they're like, being a mother is the hardest job in the world. That, those are the people that watch these videos, all right? And you know what? They're the ones that are fucking burning through their, their husband's credit cards. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're cheating on them at the same time. Yeah. That's what's going on. That's how the world works now, okay? So I think about it, and this has an angle. Look, everything has a marketing angle. Everything that can be sold can be made into a dropshipping site. But I don't think dropshippers have found this. Because the moment dropshippers find it, everybody makes ads, everybody makes marketing angles, it gets super saturated, yeah. and it ends up everywhere. So many products people have started because somebody did dropshipping. They, they started making ads, it ended up selling really well. Other dropshippers saw it, and they're like, oh, I gotta do this too. They stole the ads, yeah. changed it up a little bit, like how FaZe did, and then they marketed it, and they marketed it, and it, it became a huge thing until the big company started doing it. They took over, it became an industry, that now you can't resell it from China anymore because companies are talking exclusively with those Chinese guys and saying, yeah. don't sell on AliExpress, manufacture for us, we'll sell for you, we'll give you a share of the profits. And so they take over and then it becomes an industry. So many things that you wouldn't even think about that are all new things that you have today come from drop shipping. And I don't fucking see this shit anywhere. Not like this. And I think this could be one of those untapped things that drop shippers have not caught on to yet. Yeah, so fucking. What do you think? Like, if it's a website of like, it would be a couple, like, it would be an ad of like this many thing, this many thing. But when they go on the website, it's like, it's like everything but the baby version of everything. That's what you angle it as. It's yeah. the baby version of everything. You could buy a whole fucking life, but it's all the baby version of it. Yeah. Th there's gotta be something there. No, that's definitely a thing. Psychologically, yeah. right? All these other people are like, oh, let me go on the. Shop Hunter and Minia ads and, and all this shit to like find what other people are doing. And I'm like, nah, bro, we're more creative than that. 
we can come up with our own marketing angles without ever looking at what a dropshipper is selling. Is this not a good idea? No, that's a genius idea. And what if it's one of those? It, 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 what it, if it, it is? It can be, dude. Because if it is, if it is, you know the first guys that hop on the trends of where all the other dropshippers hop onto it, they usually make a store that ends up getting like hundreds of thousands and yeah. then millions of dollars a month. Yeah. And that's usually the first guy and then everybody else copies. Yeah. This could be one of them. This could be a, a, a unlocked, like new character unlocked. New gem. Yeah. A this, hidden gem. This could be one of them. It definitely is, dude. That is untapped potential for us. 48 million, dude. Yes, it's... no, because the view count is fucking crazy. It's proof, it works. Yeah. Mini spaghetti. Mini spaghetti tacos.